All right, the polar vortex is here. It's negative 30 degrees outside. I am going to see what the polar vortex does to a pot of ramen noodles when I throw it in the air. So let's go ahead and cook the ramen noodles. The ramen noodles has been cooked. Time to turn off the fire and I'm gonna add an egg because what is ramen noodles without an egg? All right, got the egg in there, and now it's time to see what the polar vortex does to a pot of ramen noodles. Let's go. All right, I have my ramen noodles, and I'm going to toss them in the air to see what happens when I toss up ramen noodles in the air during the polar vortex. All right, I'm about to do that right now. In the middle of the polar vortex, I'm about to toss these ramen noodles in the air during the polar vortex to see what happens. Here we go. One, two, three. There you have it. The ramen noodles are frozen. Frozen ramen noodles during the polar vortex. Absolute goodness if you ask me. Absolute goodness.